First, the numbers. Instagram will not let you upload anything longer than one minute, and your frame sizes should be 1080 by 1080 or 1080 by 1350. Inside Final Cut, go to File, New Project, and choose Use Custom Settings. Set the format to Custom and change your resolution to 1080 by 1080 for square videos or 1080 by 1350 for tall videos. When you start editing, you're going to notice black bars in the tops and bottoms of your canvas. To fix this, we're going to click this button on the upper right corner of the screen to get the inspector panel. In the timeline, select the clip that you want to work with. Then use the transform tools to get rid of the black bars. Black bars are bad. When you're editing, you have to assume the viewer has their sound off. Don't do any fast edits that depend on music, and make sure you don't have a jump cut when the video loops. If your video is just one shot, use the fade to color transition to dissolve it in and out from black. When you're finished editing, go to the export button in the top right corner and choose Apple Devices 1080p. From there, go into settings and change your compression to be better. When the export is done, use AirDrop to sling it over to your phone and look at it in your camera roll before you post it and bask in that Final Cut Instagram validation. And that's how you edit something in Final Cut Pro and put it on Instagram with no black bars. Let me know if I miss something and maybe I'll make another video. We could, we could go over the, the inspector panel or how to correct a color. Whatever, I'm, I'm here to help.